So, so many of you asked me to create a video on this EWWW image optimizer plugin. And this real nice plugin, you can see they have 1 plus million active installation and it was updated 4 weeks ago. So, this is a reliable plugin which is updated frequently. And you can see why you should use EWWW image optimizer plugin. They have no speed limits and unlimited file size, smooth handling, and there's so many things. If I read everything, this video is gonna be really boring. So let's do one thing, let's install the plugin. I'll show you the process and how you can use this plugin to optimize the images on your website. Okay, so go back to your website dashboard and then hover on plugins and click on add new. And now search here EWWW. And you see the first plugin here, click on install now. And once installed, click on activate. And you can see the plugin is activated. You can find this plugin left sidebar. Go to settings and in the end you see this option EWWW image optimizer. Click on this option and now you can see this is the home page for the plugin. You can see optimization score of your website. You can see it's only 20% and I have so much possibility to optimize images on my website and you can see I have 504 images left to optimize. In your case there will be a different number here depending on the images you have on your website. And then you have multiple options here. The first thing I want you to do is click here on easy mode. Easy mode works really fine for everybody and it's very safe option so you don't mess your website. What you need to do here, click here make sure remove metadata is saved here because what happened when we upload the image on website it has a lot of information. For example from which camera the image was taken, when image was taken, sometimes the geolocation can be attached to image and by checking this option all that unnecessary information will be removed and the image will be much lighter. And then you have this option resize image, do not use this option. And then your option lazy load which improves actual and perceived loading time as images will loaded only as they enter or about to enter the viewport. For example what does it mean? When I open the website you can see on the first load on this big background image and the logo is appearing here. And all the image here they are not in the first viewport. This image and this other image or any image on the page all the images are not showing in the first viewport they will be lazy loaded. Only these images will not be lazy loaded. So what we can do we can check this option lazy loading. And then you have LQIP which is like using low version of your images. So what happens? So first the low quality version will load and with the time the high quality version will load after. And then you have DCIP. So instead of loading the image, the dominant color version of your image will be loaded in the placeholders. You can ignore this, just keep this option loaded, automatic scaling. And then if you want you can exclude some image you don't want to be lazy loaded. For example somehow your logo is lazy loading, you can right click on your logo or any image and then copy image link and then you can edit here and then this image will not be lazy loaded and then guys make sure you click on webp conversion this is very important method and then and then you can choose js webp replacing option what it will do it will change your images from jpg and png to webp which is a much smaller format if you want to know in detail what are webp images i have created a complete video they are amazing and when you test your website google page speed you also get the recommendation that convert your images in next gen format so these are webp images so once done click on save changes and then you can see optimization score is 40 because I have already optimized images and if I click here view optimized images you can see all the detail of the images which are optimized. You can see no saving because the image was already optimized but for other images you can see different saving. For example this image was 17 KB but in web page it's only 8.1 KB so we saved almost 55% size of the image. So if you optimize all the images website can be really light. So what you can do in your case the option will be here continue optimization or something in my case showing resume optimization so you can click on this option here and resume optimization and the image optimization will resume and then you can see here how many images are left to be optimized if you want you can start the premium trial of the plugin which will provide you 5x more compression which is really nice to do if you want to get the premium plan check the description of this video and once all the images will be optimized you will see 100% here let me know if you use this plugin and what is your optimization score now and how much benefit you get from this plugin and like always don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and please share this video that really helps the channel to grow and I will really appreciate that and I will understand you guys are liking my videos and they are helping you out and if you want to know how to get your website first on Google search engine rankings, check out this video on the screen.